Hey everybody, I'm the Rusty Mechanic and TFCon Toronto just finished this past weekend. Uh, we had some very cool stuff happen at the third party panel reveal so I thought I'd take a moment to talk about that. Uh, not going to touch on everything that happened in the third party panel reveal. There was a lot uh, of stuff that was in there that was presented by the uh, TFCon organizers. Uh, all of the... Um, uh, pictures and panels are uh, uh, pictures that we use in the presentation uh, are all up on tfw2005.com, so you can go over there and check them out for the for the full thing if you want to see everything that was revealed. I just want to touch on more uh, some of the more exciting stuff that we saw, uh, specifically uh, the uh, fans' toys reveals. Of course, uh, MMC had some very interesting reveals. Uh, New Age, uh, and then there was also uh, Li Jang, uh, Li Jang Toys, I'm not exactly sure how that's pronounced. Um, I'll actually touch on that one first real quick, but they had an Optimus Primal reveal that I thought was really, really interesting. There was a really cool reaction from the crowd when it was shown. I'm not a huge Beast Wars fan, but I gotta say this thing actually looked really, really cool. Uh, some really good details and, and paint scheme going on with it for... Uh, uh, both modes, both the robot and the all mode, but in particular, like some of the, the articulation uh, and the details that were shown in the robot mode look really, really cool. So it was, it was kind of exciting to see that again, and the reaction from the crowd was really good too. If you do want to see some of the reactions from uh, some of the stuff I'm talking about, Team Reviews actually was there. He was sitting right up in the front row and, and took a really good video of the, uh, the panel and the review, so you can actually check that out. Uh, over on his uh, YouTube channel, and he's split it into two parts. Uh, if you want to uh, get a feel for the reaction from some of this stuff, but of course, the biggest thing that we got uh, this past weekend was from Fans Toys. They finally gave us reveals for both uh, Dead End, the uh, Bandit, the final figure in their Stunticons, which we've been waiting for forever. Looks like they're actually giving us actual product pictures and not just. Uh, uh, renders or uh, box artwork, but it looks like actual product pictures with the rest of the uh, the Stunticons from Fans Toys. Uh, so that was was pretty exciting. It does also look like they've decided to go ahead and do what we've been asking them to do for however long it's been since we've been waiting for this set to complete. It looks like they're probably going to sell this thing separately now and they're going to have the combiner chassis as a completely separate piece so we can finally complete our Stunticon set for fans toys while we're still waiting for the combiner chassis. Now they did also reveal the combiner chassis which looks like it is going to be uh, a second trailer for uh, Road King or, or Motormaster. Uh, I actually thought that it was a really cool idea. Um, I mean... You know, it's a real world thing. Semi trucks that have double trailers, that is a thing. Um, and the combiner chassis also transforms into what looks like a, a base mode as well, which is just another way to display it. Now, I've already seen a lot of uh, chatter on the internet about this, and it's everybody's split right down the middle on this. They either love it or hate it. Personally, I think it's a really cool idea. I think it's going to look good. Uh, if I was going to buy this, I'm probably not going to display it in the second trailer mode or the base mode anyway. I'm just going to buy it for the uh, combiner chassis. Um, and uh, so I, I'm, I'm not sure what the complaints are other than maybe people just hating on fans toys because it's taken them this long to get to it. Again, personally, I gave up on the set because it was just taking them too long uh, and I've actually sold off all of my Stuntagons. I'm not sure what I'm going to do for a Minnesota at this point. Um, I, you know, I might go with DX9, I don't know. But uh, but again, like the, the, the details that they're showing this reveal, it looks really, really good. So uh, not sure what the, what the complaint is on the fact that it's a trailer in a base mode as well. The only concern I have with both of these reveals is first, they didn't give us any dates, although Fans Toys doesn't normally give any dates when it comes to these types of things during the uh, third party panel reveals. The second thing is that the combiner chassis, it looks like it's prototype product shots, but I'm not 100% sure. It could still be renders with just coloring built in for uh, you know the, the four stunticons that make up the arms and the legs. And you can see some details where Road King or Motormaster actually pins to the back of the chassis, which I'm not sure I like. I was kind of expecting that Road King would be part of the main torso at least, but it looks like he just pins onto the back. 
Um, it does also show that the there's options for the Minosaur mode if you want the cars on the front of the legs or on the back of the legs. It looks like they've built it in so that you can have them on either side. So that's a nice touch as well. The other reveal from Fans Toys, of course, was also the rest of the aerial bots. They gave us, again, actual product shots of the remaining two aerial bots, which is Fire, Flight, and Slingshot, I believe. Um... So that was nice to see as well. Again, it also looks like they are selling the aerial bots separately from the combiner chassis so that again, we can go ahead and complete those, uh, those sets. Um, these aerial bots have been fantastic in the first three. Uh, I expect no less from these two as well. Uh, and again, this product shot uh, of all five of them together, I mean, th these things are just gonna look fantastic on your shelf. Again, they also gave us uh, what looks to be prototype product shots of the combiner chassis which is going to be a uh, flight mode display stand which i think is a super cool idea much cooler than the uh, motormaster trailer idea because it actually incorporates all five of the aerial bots in their alt modes and using the combiner chassis as that flight stand base to display all five of them together not sure if you're going to be able to fit this thing in a detail for anything it's it's going to be pretty wide uh but i just love that idea Again, the product shots of the combiner mode look fantastic. Again, no color shots. Again, the the uh, pictures seem to be like their uh, prototype product shots and not renders, although it's kind of hard to tell. And again, there's no dates. So uh, while I'm I'm happy to see fans toys, I'm not going to say excited, but I'm happy to see fans toys finally getting these two sets completed and giving us some hint as to what the combiner chassis might look like we still don't have any details on dates or anything and given the fact that fans toys has already announced everything that they're releasing for 2023 we're probably not going to see any of this stuff until sometime in 2024 fingers crossed that maybe dead end comes out in time for christmas maybe the aerobots come into out in time for christmas because they do seem to be like a uh, a big release around the end of the year just to end off the year um, but I, I I think they've already planned out everything that they're doing for this year so we'll probably have to wait until 2024 for that um, the other reveal that I was really happy about was MMC so MMC gave us uh, the next two protectobots that they're coming out with so it's gonna be uh, Groove and I can't remember what the other one was uh, Blades uh, so the helicopter and the motorcycle from the, the Protectobots uh, with their all-in-one design. This stuff, um, I really like the engineering aspect of Transformers. And when it comes to these all-in-one designs and the way that they incorporate everything into the figure, it's just amazing. And I was glad to see that this stuff is actually, the MMC version of the uh, combiners is, is actually starting to catch on. There was a decent reaction from the crowd when uh, that reveal of those Protectobots uh, showed up. Uh, and of course, they also showed um, some pictures again of, of what the upcoming combiner mode is going to look like once Hotspot is released, right? So Hotspot will become the entire chassis and then the rest of the protector bots will just connect into him. Um, so that was uh, really cool. Something I'm really excited about. Again, the engineering on this stuff with the all-in-one design is fantastic. A lot of people will argue that they're not in scale, but I'm not really concerned about that just because I find that the engineering of that all-in-one design is so impressive. So I'm really, really looking forward to uh, seeing those two guys and the rest of the protective bots. And then, of course, the big thing from MMC was that they finally showed us the first uh, figure that they're going to release for their Devastator uh, combiner. It is Mixmaster. They call it uh, Demoleader, I think. Um, and they also gave us some blurred out uh, pictures of what the full combiner mode would look like, and as, long, as well as some uh, scale pictures next to uh, Assaultus and whatever the Protectobots one is called. I, I've forgotten, sorry. Um, he does look like he's, uh, it, it was joked in the panel, and it and I have to agree, it does look like he's going to be a beefy boy up around the shoulder areas, like he skipped leg day and he went, you know, for, for three days of arm day in a row. Um, so I'm a little concerned about that, but in scale, all three of the uh, MMC combiners are approximately the same height, so it's nice that they were able to incorporate that, that size scale. Um, again, I'm just... 
just a little worried about the width of Devastator in around the shoulders once MMC gets this all put together. But it does look really, really good. Uh, and there was a lot of excitement from it when it got uh, uh, revealed at the panel. Uh, New Age is another one I was I was happy to see. So they are continuing with their Dinobots line, which I, I, I think we already knew, right? We saw some pictures of Sludge coming out already. But uh, they had full pictures of uh, all the versions. Uh, th this is the thing that drives me nuts with New Age is that they, they uh, absolutely murder their... Um, uh, retools on their molds, right? And you, you get the G1, the Car2, and the G2, the transparent, right? So they, they were laying all of that out for us uh, at the reveal that they're showing us all the versions that they're going to have for uh, Sludge, uh, as well as some comparisons next to Grimlock. Uh, again, looks really, really good, right? The details from New Age are just fantastic. Uh, so again, I'm looking forward to uh, to that one as well. Um, and there was also a really cool, um, stop motion reveal as well from, uh, Mang Motion, uh, with, uh, you know, in collaboration with New Age on this figure, uh, it was probably a good 30 second clip, um, uh, but some of the stuff, you know, you know, as you guys know, uh, every now and again, I'll dabble into the stop motion stuff I haven't done in a while because I haven't had time. Um, but, uh, the stuff that I see come out of Mang Motion just blows my mind and, uh, I, I don't know how they do it and I wish someday that I could, uh, do it in the same level of detail that they're able to pull that stuff off. So if you, again, head over to TM Reviews and check out his video and, and find the New Age clip, uh, that, that video, that stop motion reveal of, uh, New Age's Sludge was really, really cool to, uh, sort of put the icing on the cake for that one. Anyway, that's it guys. Just wanted to give you my, uh, thoughts and opinions on, uh, those particular, uh, reveals from the third party panel at TFCon Toronto. Again, there was lots of other stuff that was covered. So by all means, uh, go check out TFW2005.com for all of the pictures. Uh, a lot of the pictures that I used uh, here is uh, where I, I got those pictures from. Uh, so you can go check them out. Go check out TM Reviews as well. Again, he's got a really good uh, pair of videos of the uh, full reveal. The, the, the full panel uh, runs for about an hour uh, if you've got the time to sit down and do that. Um, and by all means, please uh, leave your comments down below. What do you think of all these reveals? What was your favorite reveal? What did you hate? Um, and we can chat about that stuff uh, down below. Also, please like and subscribe if you do like uh, these videos or any of my content. A like is always appreciated. It does help out a lot. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my upcoming video releases. I do have uh, some other stuff coming in the mail. I did pick up the uh, TFCon exclusive uh, for the MMC cassette uh, eject. Uh, sorry, rewind. Um, so, uh, I'll be doing that, uh, shortly as well. I actually had to run out and pick it up from my buddy that was down there. Um, and that's it. Uh, once again, I'm the Rusty Mechanic and we'll see you next time.